Hello one, hello all. Welcome to the first installment of Listening to You. Now this was something that I did in the past called Local Listen, and then I tried doing I think a different name for it, but I think this one will be better because it's all about the stuff that y'all send in, all about the stuff that gets sent to me to listen to from upcoming people, people who might have some backing that just want a YouTube video. I'm not saying I'm anybody, you know, big or nothing, but they might want some YouTube coverage and, you know, I'm more than happy to give it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the reaction. And I like to sit with things, you know, mull it over, really, really have it simmer with me. And then um, we go from there. I can give you my my full undivided attention, my full reflective uh, reaction to it. So you'll get both the, you know, real-time reaction and then how I feel about it afterwards. So what I'll do right now is we'll cut to the reaction and then we'll get right back to it. All right, man, let's get it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yeah. I like that purple light for the living room. That's a cool little visual setup. I like that. Nice. That's a bar. I like that. Hey, three, two, one, let it rip. Catchy pre chorus, I like that. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Great shot of the valley too, I like that. Yeah. A classic shot, if you know anywhere in Cali, that's a classic shot right there. It's a massive vibe. Editing's cool. Lighting setup was dope in the scenes. I like the natural lighting, obviously, from outside. It's a cool little vibe. I like that. That's a cool little vibe, I like that one. Shout out. So with the first track, the burbs from Hamilton James and Nemo Woods, Afro beats with the vibes and the visuals, I was very happy with that, I was very impressed. Going for that type of feel I think was, a, was a, a cool approach. I'm familiar with their earlier stuff and it was a bit more aggressive and a bit more um, heavy. So to have a little something different, a little more easy going, but also very universal with it, I liked it. Nice energy that comes with an Afrobeats record. It was dope how they were able to incorporate that, but also still make something that you could, you know, put on at a cookout or put on at a pool party or something like that, as opposed to just being a good song to vibe to. So I got to commend them for that. It was nice to look at. It was, you know, cool to vibe with. It's always cool when the video matches the vibe of the song. And I think that did, I think that one was a perfect example of that. So. Big shout out to them, man. Their, their collabs are always really good. And uh, I'm, I'm always looking forward to hearing what they got next. So whenever the next one is, send it through if you want a reaction. I'd love to check it out. Or just to listen in my own spare time. It's dope stuff. All right, now this this one's only two minutes. And this one got sent in to me also on Insta. Let's check it out. Yo, 
Yo, these shots are fire. Take off films? Yo! For the homeboy Wilmo, man. Homeboy Wilmo. Now, the best thing about this is that this feels like pop punk that wasn't forced. And by that, I mean this didn't feel like this is a necessary change I have to make because something happened prior to something else I had to do. You know which artist I'm referencing, you know. It's pretty obvious. A lot of people really felt like those albums from that dude were you know, a stunt, and then he had the whole thing with, you know, oh, I didn't know there was an emo committee, this and the third. Whatever, dude. Whatever. But I love that this has that 2000s pop-punk attitude, but feels very modern, like a, uh, like a Ian Dior, Kid Leroy, even like a little bit of like Juice and Uzi. Like, it feels like modern hip-hop mixed with alternative. It's really cool. It's got the, it's got the attitudes that fuse in there as well. The visual was really cool, really did feel like a short film, really did feel like a cool twist on Groundhog Day, but with, you know, uh, some death involved. <laughs> but um, I loved how creative it was, especially for, for the record that, that it was for. It just gives it a whole new identity. It really gives it a whole nother level that you could tap into with the song. So, you know, they have the list of, you know, everybody that was there. And I love that we're crediting video directors and crediting everybody involved with projects now. I love that. I want that trend to continue. But uh, whoever whoever had the idea for that to be the video for the song, kudos, because it really does take it into a whole different light. Audio alone, it's still very good. Um, but the video really gives it that extra oomph that really makes a hit. So I wish the best to the team. Shout out to Wilmo, man. Y'all are, are dope. And I wish the best for the homie. I'm sorry it took me a while to get to both yours and the other ones. But man, it was worth the wait worth the wait both videos were really 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 cool and i enjoyed them and I'm, I'm looking forward to the next episode man i hope y'all enjoyed this i hope y'all enjoyed the little, the little new segment i want to do um and let me know man put your stuff down in the comments i'd love to check it out on the next one we got steve morris and jay lou and after that i think we have some other things that got sent in but we're gonna keep it rolling i hope you enjoyed listening to you because i love doing that I, I love listening to anything, but it's, it is cool that now, you know, we're doing something else with the community involved, so. Shout out to y'all, first and foremost, man, and I appreciate y'all. That's gonna do it for this first episode, man. Like, share, subscribe, the whole nine. You know what it is, you know what it is. It's Jared O'Brien.